Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigzar. This is the official home of the world's largest tipper truck army. Not that anybody cares. And maybe I should call Guinness so I can officially get this recognized. But I, I think that's how you make Guinness World Records. You just go, hey, Guinness, I want to set up this world record. Okay, here you go. <laughs> I don't know. Because uh, it's like, how do you break a record if it's never been set? So I can't break the record for the world's largest. I have to set the record for the world's largest tipper truck army. Anyway, enough of that. So anyway, this is the tipper truck that we're building. The 435 or 612 tipper truck. The 17 piece uh, behemoth, behemoth that it is. But today we're going to be looking at set 622. Which is a tipper truck that came out in 1978. Much harder to build. Even though... For the most part, the parts are more readily available except for the yellow tipper. It's also designed where it doesn't come off. You can't do that with this. Watch this. <laughs> so that illegal build, well, who knows if it's illegal, was done away with. So yeah, it uses the Technic piece in there. But anyway, we're going to talk about this tipper truck. I thought I had done a review on it. Apparently I've not. This is one. Uh, we also got a couple of copies of it from Jenny. Uh, Buggles Kelly 37. So we're going to look at that and also answer a question about the Formula One that's not behind me. It's on the other shelf. Uh, but I did get a question about that Formula One car. So we're going to talk about that. So, so as I organize my collection, which is obviously a very slow process, it's a big mess here. I'm hoping to get all these modulars off of here. I'm going to put Yoda in one of these locations and then just go from there. But anyway, the other shelf area, there's like the cars and things like that that I have in. Most of them are in protective cases. Well, there's one that's not. It's actually uh, the one that's on top of the VW camper van. I don't, don't ask me why I'm talking about it and I'm filming in a different location, okay? <laughs> anyway, Scooter623 wanted to know what that Formula One car was on top of the VW camper van and it actually is a uh, one of the sets I actually did a video on I, I couldn't remember if I did it I had to go look look at first I had to figure out what the set number was and then I had to look to see if I did a video and I yeah so it's set 392 came out in 1975 was only available apparently in the UK and it's a Formula One car you were correct about that scooter and I did do a video on I haven't gone back and rewatched the video. I don't know what I said, uh, but just looking at it real quick, it's got a lot of the pre technic type of technic connections. It's got those white axles, the little red gears, and things like that. And it's got a lot of stickers. <laughs> but it was from the Hobby Sets theme, which they only did a few of those. Uh, There's some motorcycles, there was a train. And there were some pretty cool little sets. Um, I got most of them. I think there might be one or two that I'm missing, but there weren't even that many. But yeah, it was a hobby from the hobby set theme that was a mid 70s, mid 1970s theme. Pretty cool models uh, when you consider the time period that they came out. But I appreciate you asking about that, and I hope to get the displays over there with the white shelves and the displays here more organized, where there be little things that you can see in the background and distract you from what I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, maybe change it up from time to time keep everything fresh for you so thank you for the question scooter now we're going to go over here and look at this set that uh, jenny sent us oh and first of all um i took the torso that jenny sent and this falcons thing and then the this was the two by four brick i don't think i paid close enough attention to it but she sent me another brick that says property of brick czar so i made a brick czar figure with the black tron torso that you sent me holding a black falcons uh, so black tron and black falcons go together thank you jenny so jenny also sent us two of the tippers that we have back here the yellow tipper which is actually a little more rare uh, as far as this is the only set that the yellow tipper came in set 622 again came out in 1978 it's the era of the minifigure but obviously ain't no minifigure gonna fit in that thing <laughs> uh, it comes with this little sign so she was she 
She said that one of them appeared to be missing pieces. It was. It was missing a Technic brick. It was missing the sign. But other than that, the, I, I think most of it, it might have been missing one one by 2 plate. So that's all I had to go get from my own collection. Then they were missing the stickers. Which, this set is one of those that will always be missing the stickers, probably. It's hard to find this one with the stickers. Uh, I'll show you on the instruction manual uh, what these look like. So you got these little chevrons that go on the brick in the front and on the back. And it actually wraps around the back. It doesn't ever show it. It's probably on the box, but on the instructions, it, it never shows that. It goes all the way around. Uh, so I think it's one big sticker. And so the bucket is held in place with the one by two Technic brick. So, which is, you know, why didn't they do it with that? Oh, Technic wasn't invented yet. That's why. <laughs> uh, and so this is mine. I have the one sticker, or actually two stickers that go, uh oh, I'll just knock Briggs are over. But I uh, don't have the wraparound sticker. And I have seen it because on BrickLink, there is a listing for these. It's a, what, a 2 by 10 plate that goes all the way across. Because if you take it, if you separate it, you're going to tear the sticker. So this is one of those. If that sticker was there, once you've built it, you can't take it, this, at least the base of it, apart. So there is a part list on BrickLink for that. But it's basically like buying half of the set. <laughs> So, I am going to try to look for, I would like to get the sticker. I imagine a sticker sheet would be expensive. Um, and, you know, since we do have the other tipper trucks, I mean, do I want to increase the army with the other tipper truck? Uh, it'd be a lot harder. Uh, I'm not, uh, so I'm not actively looking to add any more of this set to my collection. Although I do, every time I go to a store that has the blue tipper, if they have the yellow tipper, I also buy it. But uh, as far as this version of the tipper truck, no, I'm not looking at adding any more. We got our generals here. We got our three generals or whatever they might be. <laughs> All right, now I want to talk about one other thing with this. So it was missing the sign. We got the guy digging. There's the guy digging. There's the guy digging. And I like, you know, I got plenty of extra signs in my collection. And I was like, went to get one, but then I found this one. That guy must be doing more work. I don't know. See, one pile, he's got two piles. So it's like he's already taken some from this pile and made a second pile. I don't know. So, yeah, there's, there's at least two different versions of the guy with the shovel <laughs> digging. <laughs> So I got that and I was like, huh, that's different than the one. And so I had to go see, whoops, I had to see which one came with the set. And it was not this one. It was the other one. So, and also they, some versions come with the solid stud, uh, one by one round piece. No, but all of mine have the open stud. So this is one that, even though I got three, it's not officially complete on any of them because I don't have the stickers, but I do have all the other Lego pieces. Oh, and one other thing is I'm starting my box of, is it Lego? I'm going to put all my weird oddball things that I have. Uh, so, like, from the previous haul, we got the uh, popsicle sticks. We got the little gloves from the soccer set. So, any other weird little items I'm going to put in here. And when I fill this up, I'll start another one. Because I would like to do a video one day about showing some of the weird oddball pieces that people might not think are Lego, but they actually are. So thank you, Jenny, for the two tippers, two, uh, two more tipper trucks to the tipper truck army. Uh, one that's a little bit different than, or a lot different than the one that we're doing the crazy tipper truck army with, the blue uh, tipper trucks. But uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. She also sent me this shirt. So I'm wearing it today. We showed it to you in the previous uh, video with the, the haul from Jenny. Uh, so really appreciate all that she's done to help us out here. And also, I should mention, I am on the this other podcast. This podcast, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say other because I'm not even doing mine right now. But over on Brick Train's channel with Mardi Gras Man Two Three, every couple of weeks on a Friday, you'll see a new a fool podcast, a fan of old Lego. So please go over there and subscribe to Brick Trains and follow that podcast. We are actually doing a series now of comparing different years. We've done a bracket. Yes, we pretty much got the idea from 
Bricks on the Dollar with his podcast, but we expanded it to include all 64 years of the actual patent of Lego Bricks. And so our opinions will be different than perhaps theirs. So, and I encourage anybody else that wants to do something like that, if you want to do it, hey, do it and uh, go over there and debate our choices because we actually have some that might be controversial <laughs> years that we feel are better. Uh, like some people may really, really, really like recent years, but we may feel more strongly about something from the past. So, uh, and it's no, there's no wrong opinions. <laughs> well, yes, there are wrong opinions. Uh, if you disagree with me, then you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, go check out that and subscribe to Joey, Brick Trains, and Mardi Gras Man 2-3 as well. We have a lot of fun doing those videos. And it's... Um, yeah, it's on his channel, so I'm not promoting myself, I'm promoting them. And I, and I, I, I like to do that. I want to support those two guys in the community. Uh, so many people in this community of LEGO YouTube watchers and creators have been so supportive of me, and I want to support them in their endeavors, and they've bounced a lot of ideas back to me. We go back and forth. And the good thing, I'm glad I know Joey from Brick Trains, because now we don't bid against each other on eBay. Because <laughs> we, we had that very niche uh, thing of liking really, really old Lego and boxes, the old boxes, so we were often bidding against each other uh, before we knew it. So now I was like, if I see something, I'm like, are you bidding on this? And he'll be like, no, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and if he says yes, I'm like, okay, you it's yours, I'm not going to bid on it. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to, yeah, anyway. But not like we're fixing bids or anything but yeah it's like we don't want to uh yeah we'll just wait i'll wait and get it from somebody else and that's you know similarly when i got the magazines from the uk you know he wanted them too so and also the uh the blueprints so he's getting a one that i want to get and i'm sure he'll be getting it soon but there's one of the blueprints that are very rare it's on my wanted list uh, so he's going to be getting that very soon. So go subscribe to Joey from Brick Trains if you want to see what that is in the very near future. So that's my promotion of another YouTuber or YouTubers. And we want to thank you again for watching. I'm going to go put this shirt in the box. Sorry, Jenny. But uh, I'll wear it again. But it'll probably be 2022. But yeah. You really have supported this t-shirt every day. Maybe would that will that be a Guinness record too? No, I'm really more in the Coors field, so it's Coors Book of World Record that doesn't exist. T-shirt every day, and this is another one down. Uh, the only place in the world where they're building a tipper truck army, although you can too join.